Hi, Shell here. Today I thought I'd show you how to make this lovely star that you can hang on your Christmas tree and be proud that you made this all by yourself. Before I show you how to make this, I'm going to show you some variations. This is the one we're going to make today, but if you've got some holographic card, you could also make this one, which sparkles very nicely. And if you're fortunate enough to have brought the festive flurry dies last year, I made this one, which is very pretty. I also did a glitter one, but with a difference. They're different on each side. But today, this is the little one we're going to make. So first of all, what we need to do, we need two sheets of paper, 12 by 12. This is champagne glimmer paper this is dazzling diamond glimmer paper and we're going to need to cut these in half so I'm going to take my paper trimmer and just on the six there put a bit of pressure it's quite thick and for the next one too I'll do it twice just to make sure there we go so now we've got four pieces of glimmer paper we no longer need our trimmer so we'll pop that to one side we are however going to need the big shot I have a magnetic plate I wouldn't be without my magnetic plate it holds everything in place for me now I'm hoping you can see what I'm going to do I'm going to get my first piece of paper I'm going to pop it here it's a little bit too long what I'm going to do so I'm going to cut it and I'll show you why I've cut this in just a second. In fact, we'll cut them all while we're there. Let's want them all the same. Bear with me while I just get my pieces of paper. There we go. These are all ready now. We'll start by putting a piece on here. And now we want those star framelits that I said about. I keep mine on a magnetic sheet. And we need to fit these nicely on to our piece of glimmer paper you'll get four on here this is why you keep the little piece over here because what we're going to do in a minute is we're going to get two out of here so we'll leave that over to one side now we're going to pop that on the top there and I'm going to bring my big shot back don't worry about the creaking it's frightening when you first get a big shot, I must admit. Oops, it's falling down. So now I'm going to take these off. I'll get my finger under there. And pop all these off. Like I said, we're going to do two sets of each, and I'll show you why in just a minute. there don't throw this away because if you've got a small heart punch or a little flower punch all these little bits will make lovely little glimmer paper flowers and hearts same thing again like I said we're going to do this four times two times on the white but it's not white is it it's dazzling diamond and dazzling it is it's very pretty pop that there I'm going to go this way this time. Don't forget, the creaks won't hurt. Pop those out again. This is the most weight you're going to do, getting all your stars ready. Once we build them up, it's very fast. Now we need to do 
two of these that we haven't got because we couldn't fit them on the sheet. And we put that through. It's a good workout using your big shop. Don't anybody say you don't get any exercise while you're crafting. And let's pop that on there. And through again we go. That's all our glimmer wipe on some dazzling diamond. Now we need to do our champagne ones. So once again. them all on. Yes, so you have to play with them to make sure they all fit on. There we go. And through again we go. And we start to pop these over here. Pop them down. Again, keep this piece. Makes more nice stars and hearts. And again, we're nearly done now. Let's put our framelits on here. through me going out. And we're going to pop these out. That's all of those done. Now we just need those two pieces again. sure we've got all our pieces don't want to be short now you should use all your pieces of shimmer glimmer paper you shouldn't have any left apart from your spare pieces that you're going to use up for the smaller punches nearly there folks two more to do after this and then we're going to assemble. And I hear you all say, yay, last one. Then we're going to start the magic. So there we have all our stars ready. So we can put all our odd pieces, scraps of paper, the framelits, big shot, all to one side now. We don't need them anymore. Now we're going to get all our pieces. Dazzling diamond ones. I'm stuck to the table now. There we go. Right, the first one, we're going to take a large one. And what we're going to need to do is we need a piece of ribbon. I leave mine on here and I like to work out roughly a nice size piece of ribbon. Chop that. Well, that's on one side. Tombow glue for the first one. 
I try to stay away from the edges because I don't want it to come out and spoil your nice glimmer paper. So just I just like to brush around. Obviously we need quite a bit because we want to make sure it sticks together and stays together. You see I've got quite a piece of pop Mr. Glue. That piece of ribbon. This is where you try not to get too messy when you pop it down. And then and the reason I use Tombow for this is so that you can move your star. You can make sure you've got no white bits and it moves so just keep it in place and push it down Ooh, see this happens but with Tombow you'll just be able to slide it back let me just give it a good push to make sure it's all nicely together now the fun begins we don't need the first one because we've used that in the champagne so we need the dazzling white second one and we're going to put some foam pads on here we'll leave that one there for the moment foam pads dimensionals everybody has their own name for them but I'm using stamping up dimensionals and I'm going to pop one on each piece and a piece in the middle if you've got Nails, you'll have a better time at this than me. My nails are all breaking at the minute and I don't seem to be able to get hold of the pieces of paper on the dimensionals. And we've got those all off. And then we're going to line it up. hope you can see this. And I pop it down. And that's that one. So now we've used the white the dazzling diamond so we leave that to one side we want the next smaller one down in the champagne and again we're going to put dimensionals on each point because we want this to last the whole of the time it's on the tree and you want to bring it out next year to show everybody this is where you get your dimension from by putting dimensionals on you could just glue it down if you wanted, but then you won't get such a good effect, I don't think. Just take all these off. And again, we line it up and pop it down. Now, I need to go back to my Dazzling Diamonds for the next one. This one, we could just put one on. And we line it up. So now, champagne. The tiny one. It's one little one. So we've done one side. All we need to do now is turn it over and we repeat it all over again. Pop our dimensionals on. Like I say, you could even, if you've got children, you could get the children crafting. And they can tell everybody they made a star for the Christmas tree. Which I would think would be a very nice thing for children to do. Pop that down. And again, a few dimensionals. You could have a nice afternoon with the children doing this. Or even if you, there was a children's Christmas party, rather than play a game, you could sit them down and make a nice stars to take home and put on the Christmas tree. Which I think would be rather nice. Rather than take a bag of sweets home from a party, you can take home an ornament to put on the tree. On there. and there you go one star 
Now, as you can see, we've got all these pieces left. Now, all you could do with these, you can make another one, but it will be the opposite way. So, effectively, you get two stars. And that's how it would be. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial today. If you haven't already subscribed, maybe you'd like to, because then you can see what I upload next week. I'd just like to say thank you to everybody who's already subscribed. I'd love it if you press the like button. And I hope to see you all next week. Bye-bye.